What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with another flashing lights update. Uh, so this is another unstable branch update, and it brings modding support. So we're going to go ahead and check that out, check out some of the mods that are already on the workshop, and then hop in and play the game some. So, unfortunately, this uses mod.io. I had hoped when I talked about this previously on the roadmap that we would have Steam Workshop support. Not the case. So in order to use this, I've already got it set up, but when you guys first use this, you'll need to sign up using your email address. Um, from that point, you can then go in here and you can browse and stuff like that. Um, I don't actually know how to upload a mod. I guess you do that through like Mod.io's website, presumably. I, I don't know for certain. Um, but yeah, anyways, once you open it up here, you get a bunch of different menus and stuff here. So you've got like featured mods, you've got highest rated, uh, trending, which I guess is different than highest rated because these are presumably popular like right now where as highest rated is maybe like an overall you know all time thing um i don't know then you've got most popular so i guess ratings versus popularity i don't i don't know i guess yeah you get thumbs up and stuff and then uh recently added so you can scroll through here there's a bunch of different mods on here already not quite as many as i'd hoped but it's increasing semi-quickly um, there's a whole bunch of mods that are already out in the community that have been floating around for a while. It's just they didn't have official support and an easy way to update these. You had to update the files manually and everything. Um, so this makes the process a lot easier. I'm just hoping that a lot of the community members who have created mods over the years will come back and update their mods and put it into this system. Um, but I don't know what to expect. Now, I've already downloaded a bunch of mods, though, so we're going to go ahead and pull up the assigned mods here. So you can click on your mods in here. And you can then assign it to the different vehicles depending on the particular type of vehicle. So we've got the uh, Santa Monica Police Taxi Library. And I'm not going to assign this particular one because we've already got a couple on here. But you can see Police Car 2-1 is our Crown Vic. And we've got the four skins for it. So, you know, your City Police, uh, your you know non-Livery ones, your Black and White one, and then your uh, Sheriff one as well as the uh, fire department and EMS. So you can actually, if say you don't really use fire department Crown Vic and you want to have extra libraries for your police, you can throw them in that slot. Now, I don't know how this works in multiplayer. I'm guessing it's client side, but I haven't actually tested that out. Um, but yeah, you'd come in here and you'd sign mods. Um, say you do the San Diego Sheriff's Office. This is a mega pack. It includes a bunch of different vehicles. So you'll get the, the SUVs, police cars, and stuff like that. And then, depending on the vehicle, again. And then it shows the assigned ones in green. So uh, we've already assigned this one to slot one. Uh, we can assign it to one and two if we want. So, yeah, it it's not a terrible system. It's not the best system I've ever seen, but it's not terrible. can't remember what the max is on these. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now, hopefully this is working okay. Last time I played, traffic seemed to be broken and pedestrians seemed to be broken. So I'm hoping that's fixed because they weren't spawning at all for me. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm re-recording this because we had recorded it once and then that happened, which makes for less than ideal gameplay. So I'm hoping that will be fixed here. And then, yeah, we'll probably do police today just because there is mostly police skins. Um, so this... Includes textures and sirens. There's no lighting support yet, but there might be lighting support later on. I don't know if that's planned or not. Uh, but yeah, you can get different sirens and stuff. I haven't really looked through the sirens. Unfortunately, you can't preview the sirens. There's only images, so you can't play a video or something to be like, hey, this is what the siren is, and they can't link YouTube videos. <laughs> Again, this is why I really wish they would have done Steam Workshop support, because then if it was on Steam Workshop... Uh, you could put videos in there, and so stuff like sirens and stuff would be really easy to preview instead of having to go to YouTube separately and then type in the particular type of siren and then hope you're listening to the correct siren. And then even then, you're not necessarily going to know what it sounds like in game. You'll know what it sounds like in real life, but that's different. So we've got uh, Cat Town and Beach Town, of course. Now I've got a couple of different skins already set up, like I said, so we'll... Uh, we're going to go with the white uniform today. So we're going to go and spawn in at Beach Town. And hopefully we'll get some 
not only calls, but operational functional calls and people spawned in and around these different areas. Okay, start off in the locker room. So yeah, we'll load up our car here. And we've got the Sheriff's Library by default. Of course, this is the regular skin, but you can see our white and black where we've assigned different skins. So this is just the plain white library, but we've modded it. So it's now the Beach Town Library where we're currently stationed. And then the uh, the black one, we've got the Cod Town Police Department. And if I, I think if I cancel, oh, no, I, I cancel is not the correct one. I didn't mean to do cancel. I take it back. I take it back. Uh, so if we go in here, though, we can go to the other vehicles. Not sure what that pop up's about, but you can see we've got this different library on the other vehicles, too. And then if we go to the tow truck. OK, uh, I think we're going to go with this one right here. I like this. And so we'll save and exit. So yeah, we're just going to run some calls at this point. It's going to be basically a regular video. Um, I mean, at this point, I've already given off my thoughts on it. So if you guys are just looking to see the modding and my thoughts on it, this is what it is so far. Uh, again, we're still in unstable, so this could change further. Um, you know, it could improve more. Like I said, I don't know what all their plans are. Oh, that disappeared super fast. Can we still get that call? Oh, we are. We did respond. OK, perfect. Should have looked where that call was. Oh my god, it's in the main city. I, this is why you check these things. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, call cleared. So this is one of the issues I've had with this, is that the calls are like clearing and stuff before you even get out to them, and it, it's not great. Uh, I guess we don't need uh, lights and sirens here. Yeah, hopefully now... They'll uh, they'll go back and they'll spruce up and make these other towns work. Obviously, the uh, the traffic lights and stuff don't seem to be working down here. Um, I don't know if this is like the unstable branch. I guess it's just they've broken a ton of stuff. Um, arsonist activity. Okay, where's this one at? That's gonna be in the main city too. Let's get up here to this break and we'll cross over on the median. I guess. Uh, you know what, actually, let's do this. Let's keep going straight. We'll take the uh, the interchange that's up ahead. I like these, uh, oh, God. Oh, I hit that. Yeah, going a little too quick. I like these uh, <laughs> appropriate libraries. They're, they're pretty good. The, uh, the the regular city one's not too bad that this guy did, and then I'm not as big of a fan of the sheriff's department, but it's not terrible. I don't know why I'm bothering Signal Murray speeding so much, and there's no traffic. So it seems like traffic's still completely broken here. I, I'm not expecting too much from this video, so this might be a really short video. Alright, we're going to turn off our uh, sirens here. There's at least the parked vehicles work, but yeah, the uh, anything that involves driving seems to just not work properly. So the, um, the drunk driver just clears, and then I was encountering issues with, uh, I think it was like speeders and stuff too. Oh, he's shooting at us. I don't know if we should try to tase him or not. 
Let's uh, let's try to flank around here and see if we can. Is this the person with the gun? I guess this is our our individual here. Let's just double check over here. I didn't see the gun on them. They were running by. I guess that's our uh, our wanted individual here. All right, let's grab them and take them back to the uh, car. So we're going to frisk them. We'll see if they've actually got the gun on them. Okay, so yeah, weapon, alcoholic drink. Um, well, let's see if they've been drinking too. Despite having an alcoholic drink on them, they are not drunk. They haven't been drinking. There's no drugs. Um... Okay, let's, let's request transport for them. All right, we'll wait for the uh, transport to get here before trying to extinguish this so we have uh, support. Um, I did not... Oh, shoot, I forgot to replace the police van. They're still using the... Uh, well, I guess they're using the standard city version is what that is. It's, yeah, that's fine. That's not a big deal. That's actually correct. Okay, so I can't put that out. Oh, I'm just pushing my car around. All right, well, you guys enjoy your dumpster fire, literally. Uh, even though we're not in the right jurisdiction at all, we'll uh, park up here. Oh, hitting the wrong buttons here. grab a uh, screenshot here really quick in a second. Which I didn't have to do that now, but we're going to, guys. Um, where is this escape convict? He's down on the other side of the city. I don't know if I can cut up through here. I'm hoping I can. I can. Oh, yeah, this is the police station. Okay. Alrighty. Well... We've got, ooh, crashing again. That's what we've got. So this is our scene. The paramedics are already on scene, but I don't see our escaped convict. There's somebody standing there, but they're not. They don't appear to be a convict. <laughs> they're not in the, uh, the inmate suit. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to I just drive around. Hopefully, we'll get a marker spotting the person's uh, rough location. They could have gone back into the city, and I could have driven by them and wouldn't know. But I'm not sure they might have dipped down here too. All right, we're gonna drive up on the sidewalk because that goes down and around to an area we don't want to go. Oh, I lied. I just marked him down over here. Oh yeah, I think I see him now. Maybe is that there? convict over here oh yeah okay all right you got nowhere to run 
Let's, uh, he's already in handcuffs. We're gonna frisk him to see if uh, he's picked up anything along the way. He's got his, uh, I guess his inmate ID. But he doesn't have any weapons or anything on him, so that's good. Alrighty, get in there. Alright, so we're gonna transport him back ourselves. And we'll just drop him at the uh, the main jail here, I guess, and process him there. Oh, I just ran a red light. I forgot the lights down here actually worked, unlike the other parts of the uh, the city or the other areas. And uh, before we go back, we're just gonna double check, make sure everything's okay here. I don't know if uh, I don't know if we can talk to these people or not. I do hope we see more mods uh, in terms of like character skins. The the police car libraries by default aren't horrible. I mean they're they're actually the sheriff's one is pretty decent. I like the sheriff's skin for the game by default, but the skins for the characters leaves a lot of room to be desired in my opinion. All right, we're gonna cut through the hospital and uh, go up over to the police station now. Can't hit my e key. Driving a little bit more haphazardly than usual, which is already pretty haphazard. But uh, there is no traffic. As you guys saw, we maxed out traffic and there's nobody. Alright. Let's go back here. And we'll bring him up over on the ramp here. don't normally uh, transport the suspects, but uh, I figure that's a good reason to do it now, right? Especially because this is already a uh, escaped convict. So we'll take him inside and get him through processing. That's still the other thing I would love to see with this is actually processing uh, inmates. But I would prefer to see, uh, now that we've got uh, Cod Town and uh, Beach Town in the game, I'd like to see those updated and have a little bit more gameplay and actual people, you know, working traffic lights and stuff like that. But it would be neat to be able to bring, like, suspects down here and, you know, put them in front of the, uh, the camera and get their, like, inmate pictures and stuff like that. But, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, so that's our suspect in custody. So we've gotten a couple calls. I don't think we have anything else that I really want to do in terms of calls. Obviously, it's kind of buggy right now. I'm sure that's stuff that's going to be fixed in all likelihood. Um, but because of that, it does kind of ruin it. We Obviously, we can't do drunk drivers. We can't do speeders. We can't do traffic enforcement with the skin and stuff, so... Um, yeah, I think we're going to call it there today, guys, a little bit earlier than normal, but uh, we're, we're pretty close to 20 minutes at this point anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the modding support. Obviously, modding support in and of itself is pretty great, but what I want to know from you guys is what are your thoughts on how they implemented it? Do you guys like mod.io? Do you prefer the Steam? Do you think it's worse? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, guys. Thanks for watching, and take it easy.